a standardized value, which is commonly known as a Z-score. So what is Z-score or standardized value? It can be defined as a position of a row score in terms of its distance from the mean when measured in standardized division units. So meaning, we will transform our row score uh, in form of standardized value. So Excel function will produce a result either positive or negative. So positive Z-score means that our row score is higher than the mean average. For example, if we have a positive 1 result, it means that it is one standard deviation above mean. However, if we receive negative Z-score, it means that the row score is below than the mean average. For example, if we have negative 2, it means that Two standard deviation below the mean. So we want to calculate Z score or standardized score. So press equal type standardized double click select our cost per order shift control arrow down comma space then Excel average function which is our mean, comma, space, standard division, shift, close bracket, enter. So this is our Z-score data. Now to settle down everything, double click the small square. So you face this problem, right? Now to settle this problem, delete. We will redo it again. Press equal, type standardize, cost per order, shift control arrow down, comma, Excel average function, comma, spacebar, standard division, close bracket, do not press enter yet. Now put your cursor to G, before G, press shift and number 4. So, there is a dollar sign. Now move to after G, shift number 4. Okay, so before and after, then move your cursor N, shift number 4, after N, Shift number 4. Okay. For standard division, shift number 4. After N, shift number 4. Then press enter. Double click. So there you are. So the purpose of using shift number 4 because uh, we want to lock the formula that we have in one cell so whenever we move our formula it remains unchanged outlier so what is outlier outlier refers to any data point that is very different from the rest of the data so meaning the very different means that the value can be extremely high or extremely low now the rule of thumb to determine whether any data point considered as outlier when the Z score is more than 3. So next, this is an illustration uh, to show you a data point uh, with outlier. So this is the pattern of the data and this is one data point that is split off, split off from the rest of the data. So this is outlier. So from these results, we can say that the Z-score, all results are within the range, which is below 3. However, only one ID, we found it above 3, 4.2204.
which means this is uh, the outlier. So outlier again, it refers to any extreme value or any data point that is very different from the rest. So we look at the cost per order, why it is different. Z score is high because the cost per order is high. So it makes sense. So in this case, the Z score, the value of Z score in this business considered as uh, a good sign for the business. So that's all and thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.